dawn of a new era in NASCAR. The Food City 300, the final race of the NASCAR Xfinity Series regular season. It'll be the first race broadcast by our partners over at the CW, which will also air all seven of this year's Xfinity Series playoff races before the network becomes the series exclusive home next year. And News Nation's Anna Coyman is with some of NASCAR's best at America's Home for Racing in all of her gear, too. She's at Charlotte Motor Speedway this morning. Anna, how did the drivers <laughs> feel about the big move to the CW, and how are you feeling this morning? Good morning, Marky. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. So fans have eight opportunities to watch NASCAR on CW Sports, including eight playoffs. I want to bring in driver Sheldon Creed. Good morning. Thanks for driving in from Huntersville. I'm in my hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. What is new this year for the Xfinity Series? Yeah, I mean, other than obviously exciting competition, every race we have, uh, obviously, like you said, we're going on the CW starting September 20th, Bristol and you'll be able to see all the playoff races this year for the Xfinity Series. There you go. And in Bristol, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to be racing. What's that going to be like for you guys? Yeah, it could possibly be Dale's last uh, last National Series race. So uh, that'll be special, I think, for all of us. But even though he doesn't race full time with us, he actually is a lot of competition when he comes and does run. So, uh, yeah, excited for that. And a lot of excitement for the fans as well. And then October 12th here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So they paint the track pink. They say to paint the walls pink. And um, it's a really unique course because it's a roval. And I got a chance to show you guys what this track is like in the pace car. If we want to take a look at some of that video. But first, Harrison Burton, another driver, gave me some advice about how to make sure I don't run into any walls. Listen. I think the biggest thing you got to do is get your angles into the corner right. So slow arc down to the bottom, get a wide entry, and uh, drive it in there far. Stay it, on the gas for a long time and okay. make sure you change your shoes. No heels wait, allowed. Wait, the, what's the matter with No these? heels allowed. I mean, they look good, but no heels allowed <laughs> in the race car. It'll trip you up. <laughs> so I did take his advice. I got rid of the heels and put on some sneakers instead. Here we go. And let's take a look at that pace car video going around the track. It's a roval combining the outdoor track with the infield. What's that like for you? Very unique. Yeah, it's super unique. A lot of fun. Uh, obviously, you get the banking with the oval and then drop down into the infield. It's super slick actually here, so it makes it really technical and, and a lot of fun for us competition. There you go. Well, Sheldon Creed, thank you so much. Good luck to you. And uh, can you just say right there, can you say you're watching Morning in America from Charlotte Motor Speedway? How much I have to forget that. You're watching Morning in America with... Anna Coyman <laughs> <laughs> from Charlotte, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Speedway. You Thank know you. where you are. And don't forget to watch the Xfinity series on CW Sports starting on September the 20th in Bristol. Marky, back yeah, to you. It was a good try. Anna, it's hard to go pedal to the metal when you've got your high heels on. But uh, yeah, assignment of the Match day. Match the gas and come on. We got to do it. Absolutely. Looking good out there, lady. <laughs> Thanks so much. And be sure to catch every lap Thanks. of the NASCAR Xfinity series playoffs on your local CW channel, starting with the Food City 300 from Bristol Motor Speedway on Friday, September 20th. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.